Well, hello everyone. Welcome to you today from Indianapolis, Indiana, a very different location from where I normally um, bring these videos. This week I've had the privilege of gathering together with um, around 20,000 people from all over the world, um, all different sizes and shapes and colors and and um, cultures, and it's been a really wonderful um, thing to be a part of. And during this week I've been reminded of, of just how much impact church can have um, when uh, when it is what it's meant to be. And I'm reminded of those words of Jesus when he asked Peter, who do you say that I am? And, Jesus, and Peter said, you're the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said, on that truth, I am going to build my church. And this idea of the church being built up, being built, is one that appears a number of times in the scriptures. Let me give you a couple of examples. One from the first one from uh, Peter, chapter one. Uh, sorry, sorry, chapter two says, "As you come to Him, living stone, rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to Him, you also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house." And over in Ephesians chapter two, verse twenty-one and twenty-two, it says, "In Him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord, and in Him." You two are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by the Spirit. And as we see all of these thousands of people and, and think about what the church can be in terms of this idea of being built up, it's easy to think of it as um, more and more people becoming a part of the church. I guess there's a sense in which that is very true. But it doesn't completely uh, fulfill the meaning of these verses. The truth is that my scratchy voice that you may have noticed um, is a reminder to me um, of what I am. Uh, my voice is, my throat's a little sore, my voice is I'm finding it difficult to, uh, to come out. It reminds me that I'm a human being. I have weaknesses, I have um, difficulties, I have struggles. And across the journey of my life, have I, have I, as I have faced difficulties and sometimes even tragedies, um, I have been shaped, and there are times in my life where I feel my own shame, and I feel my own sense of worthlessness, and, and I know that you've struggled with that too. When we think about what the church is and what it's supposed to be, and this idea of being built up, I think one of the most powerful truths is the church is intended to be a place of healing, a place of hope. We've talked about that before, but a place where the things that make me less and what I am tended to be are being dealt with in my life, being removed so that I can become all of the person that I can become. And that's true for you too. Church is meant to be a place of healing. Love brings healing. It sets us free to become what we are meant to be. And I hope as you journey through the week ahead, you'll be reminded that um, there's so much more that is intended for your life. And being a part of the church is intended to um, open up those possibilities. And so I hope that you are reminded constantly of who you are intended to be and what the church is supposed to be.